my top three tips that help me lose weight and adopt a healthier lifestyle. Hi, it's Morgan. Previously, I made a video about all of the things that kept me and kind of like prevented me from losing weight and like making progress in that area. And so now I want to share what I believe to be the top three daily habits, lifestyle changes, biggest things that actually helped me change my lifestyle around, get healthier, jump on this like fitness and wellness journey and lose weight and reach my goals. Whether you're looking to specifically lose weight or you just want to get healthier or whatever, I think these could benefit anyone. Starting with the first one, which I think is the most interesting and what I think is probably the most overlooked or not even typically considered when people decide they want to like get healthier. And that is the importance of having a good sleep schedule and getting proper sleep at night. I have learned so much about sleep, specifically how poor sleep can hinder so many things in the health area. A quick overview because I did explain this pretty deep in my other video. Basically poor sleep or not getting much sleep at night increases your ghrelin levels, which is your hunger hormone and decreases your leptin, which essentially is like your body recognizing you're feeling a fullness. So oftentimes if you don't sleep much, you wake up the next day, you're feeling hungry, you crave more like sugary, empty calorie kind of junk foods. It is because of those hormone imbalances. This helps explain why there is a link between poor sleep and obesity. Again, a link, not a direct cause. It also leads to trouble with your ability to evaluate and kind of regulate your appetite. And this might make you overeat a ton more than you need to. Like your body's just literally against you in the like eating and food and all of that area when it comes to poor sleep. That's really only one area of it though. You know, like it's no secret that if you are well rested, you're gonna wake up the next day with more motivation, with more ambition, being more productive, wanting to reach your goals better. Like I don't even know if I need to say that. That part is pretty obvious. You also do burn calories when you sleep. So if you think about it, you know, if you get a full night's rest, you will burn more calories versus when you only sleep a few hours. Bad sleep does affect other things like insulin and your cortisol. So you might be more stressed and it even decreases serotonin, which is like your happiness. Also sleep deprivation makes it harder for you to work out. And if exercise is a big part of your wellness journey, it's already hindering you making progress there. Number one, it's harder physically because you do have less energy when you don't sleep well, but also in general, you're going to have less motivation if you don't sleep well. And it actually is a harder recovery on your body if you have poor sleep. There have been so many studies, so many articles, like so many things research about sleep and health and all of that. I'll link a few videos and interesting articles below. There is a really great book called Why We Sleep that has so much good information in it. You can get it on Amazon. It's just so eye-opening and I feel like really brought to my attention a lot of things I didn't consider before. One thing that helps you sleep as well is having good bedding. I feel like I didn't realize how much of a difference it made until I recently upgraded my bedding. So I have to give a shout out to Nola. I got a Nola mattress recently and they are so good. I completely just like upgraded everything. New mattress, new bedding, everything. And I feel so good at night. I used to have the worst like nighttime like sleep anxiety where I was like literally just I had like some weird issue with like actually falling asleep at night, but I like look forward to it so hard, not only from the health benefits, but because I love my mattress and my bedding so much. It's one of those mattress in a boxes. So it comes right to your door. You open up the box, you like roll it on top of your bed frame, undo the plastic and it kind of puffs up. So it's super easy and convenient. If you're interested, it's called the NOLA original 10 inch mattress. It's their most versatile, long lasting and best selling. It has like pressure relief. It's listed at a great price. And I honestly love the little texture on top. I filmed me opening it and everything and you know my dog jumping all around because I thought it was fun and cute and it just looks so nice and makes my sleep experience just like so much better. And that is so important for your health so I do feel like it's really important to invest in good bedding, good mattress, all of that. I mean you spend like I don't know what is it a third of your life in bed. Any mattress does come with two new pillows as well and I feel like I'm so picky about pillows so it's always nice to get new pillows but I highly recommend NOLA, their mattresses. I will link everything in the description box of course. They are are so good. I seriously get so excited to go to bed at night. And I know that's a normal thing. I know a lot of people do, but I didn't used to be that way. If you're having sleep issues, you know, maybe it's a you problem, but also maybe it's a mattress problem. I feel like people don't replace their mattresses as often as they're supposed to. I think that's a common thing. So check out NOLA. They are super, super great. Highly recommend. Next topic, we are talking exercise. Okay. I do really believe it is so important for you to exercise, relieve some endorphins, get your body moving most days of the week in order to 
to lose weight if that's what you're trying to do or just kind of live a healthier lifestyle exercise is so important okay I'm a huge believer that exercise varies exercise does not have to be lifting hundreds of pounds every day it does not have to be doing hit workouts over and over six days a week like that is not at all if you if you watch any of my videos you know that's not what I mean exercise is something that is so intimidating working out so intimidating but it doesn't have to be okay that's all to say my next big 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 tip is finding a workout workouts types of exercise that you truly enjoy hear me out it is so important okay i believe that these are all lifestyle things and you are only going to sustain these and keep up with these if they are things that you like that make you feel good if you hate running do not run okay i don't run I, I don't run. I would love if I loved to run, but I just don't love to run. And that's fine. I used to force myself to do it, and I don't anymore. My favorite workout ever is the 12-3-30, coined by Lauren Geraldo. A treadmill workout. I put it in so many videos. I have a specific treadmill routine video on it. I will put it above and in the description box if you're interested. And if you've never heard of it, it is the main workout I did that helped me lose a significant amount of weight last year. Essentially, you walk on a 12 incline at 3 speed for 30 minutes. I do variations of it, but I truly love to walk, and I love that I can prop up my iPad, I can watch a show, I can watch YouTube, I can listen to something while I get a sweat in and release some endorphins and just like, it's like my therapy at the end of the day because I do work out in the evening just because that works for me, right? Not everyone has to be a 5 a.m. workout person. You can work out in the afternoons. You just gotta find what works for you. But it is my favorite thing ever and it's literally walking, okay? Not to say that it's easy, it is not easy, but it is walking. You have to find things that you truly enjoy and not only that make your body feel good, of course, that's a very important part of it but also that make you feel good mentally if you feel good mentally after something you are gonna crave that feeling over and over more and more and you're gonna want to go back to it and it's gonna become a habit and it's it's not gonna be something you think twice about it's just gonna be a natural part of your daily routine it's just part of your day it's just part of how you live but also if you try workouts and they're just not working for you and it makes you hate working out and want to do it less and less change it up okay nobody is making you do a hit workout if you don't like hit and you don't like to push yourself in that area find something else. You know, it's all about trial and error. It took me so long to find a workout that I actually enjoyed. I used to do like all these workout videos, but I never knew if I saw progress and whatnot. Like it is difficult. It is hard to find out what works for you. I'm not saying it's easy. It takes time. It takes trial. It takes error. You're going to mess up. You're going to find things you don't like. It's just the truth of it. But finding a workout that you actually like is is key literally key if you're making yourself do something you won't like you are gonna give up so fast and i really love that i do it not only for the physical appearance but for the mental feeling and the physical feeling too that is the best part of it and it's it's so rewarding that i've been able to evolve my relationship into being this way because of course it wasn't at the start another thing that i really like if you are watching a series or something like that what's really great is say you watch an episode a day well what if you just channel that into, you know, kind of like when you work out? It helps you look forward to it. A popular show right now is The Watcher that came out on Netflix. Say you're watching that and you're really into it, okay, maybe you are able to watch it while you work out. So when it's the time of day that you wanna work out, you're kind of rewarding yourself with getting to watch your favorite show, a new show, an exciting show. Also, keeping yourself entertained passes the time so much quicker. It's just so much more enjoyable. Finding little ways to kind of make it better and more enjoyable and even just get through it better. If you're not enjoying it to the max, it's not like you have to love every minute of every workout every day, but if it makes it that much easier for you mentally and then physically, that's a world of a difference already. Keep in mind that you do need to challenge yourself. You do really have to have self-awareness and discipline though to know if you are challenging yourself. The third and final big topic big lifestyle habit that I really love to live by is about eating how I like to go about this though is I am not on a specific diet you know like keto or the carnivore diet whatever I'm not on a specific diet not only because that would be terribly for me mentally but for most people I would say they don't work and I don't restrict myself as you shouldn't either it's terrible for you mentally and oftentimes when you go on a diet it involves restricting some types of foods kind of my approach is essentially eating the rainbow, right? So it's not necessarily cutting sugar, cutting this, cutting this. It's more about incorporating good foods for you and incorporating 
whole foods, maybe eating less things that are super processed. I know that's kind of taboo, so I kind of want to be careful about what I say because this is a touchy subject and because I'm not a nutritionist, I don't know everything. Please don't think I do. But it really is all about balance, okay? If I know I'm gonna have a super, super carby dinner, I might try to have more veggies and, you know, other types of foods in my lunch. It's really about balance. And please, please eat carbs. Okay, carbs are not the enemy. I found out actually that that's a very American thing and that a lot of people in other countries don't view carbs as the enemy, but I feel like in the US that's such a common thing and like diet culture and all this and carbs are bad for you and don't eat bread. No, please eat bread. Please eat bread. I really do believe you should be eating essentially all of the food groups. Of course, unless you have intolerances and sensitivities, things like that, but it's so important to just eat very well-rounded. As cheesy as it sounds, I truly believe balance is key. If if you want a dessert at night, have a dessert in moderation, but allow yourself room to indulge in things that you want to indulge in. Try new food pairings. Try to do healthy swaps. You know, try new healthy recipes if you're looking to incorporate certain foods, but you just don't know how to make them taste good. Sometimes it's all about trying new pairings and just trying things to really find out like, oh, I actually like spinach. You know, if you're someone who thinks you hate it. I kind of try to eat a little bit intuitively in the sense that I want to eat till I'm full, but I don't want to overeat. You know, I don't want to bored eat. This is another thing that does take time to get used to, you know. I feel like really experimenting and trying almost to detach a little emotionally from food itself has really helped me. Food is fuel. Yes, food is a very big social aspect. It does provide happiness, but I think it is important to view it as something something for your body and know what makes you feel good and what doesn't you know because you can't tell me that you will eat a whole pizza and after that automatically your body feels great you know like I just wouldn't believe that but when you do start learning kind of what makes you feel good inside I feel like you're more likely to want to continue fueling yourself with that some things I like to do is when I'm done eating dinner I don't like to like linger around in the kitchen because then I'll kind of graze more also when I am eating meals like I like to try to sit down and focus a little bit more and not be multitasking or eating on the go super often because I feel like you will eat quicker and that's not as good for your digestion and you might end up eating more than you need things like that I'm also a big fan of liquids it makes me feel so satisfied when at the end of the day I can like look and be like wow I ate the rainbow I had basically one of everything from each food group and you might not do it every day that's okay but working at that is just such a good approach in my opinion and something that I think really helped me a lot and I do think that these three main areas and kind of like lifestyle habits like I said really Really work together and really help me to feel good on a daily basis of course I do other things that I like and I enjoy that contribute to a <laughs> healthier lifestyle healthy can mean so many things that's kind of why I put it in quotes these three areas are just really something I'm very passionate about and I could talk on and on and on about but I really hope you took something away from this video or learned something or just kind of even something maybe open your eyes a little bit thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed and I'm wishing you the best I'm always rooting for you health is well but health is not easy please subscribe if you have not and I hope to see you in my next video